ferocious slam on Millsack to cut the lead to one. Welcome, Ham Dot. Y'all ready for this? Rebecca Lobo, Lisa Leslie, Lauren Jackson, Candace Parker. Do these names sound familiar? They are the names of the most notable professional women's basketball players, yet they remain some of the least recognizable in the sports world. In an article published by the New York Times in 2016, it stated that year the WNBA received a sum of $25 million from ESPN, while the NBA revenued $930 million from ESPN that same year. We spoke with some of our own female basketball players to see if these disparities are presented in the school as they are on the national level. I think the fact that there's not a lot of recognition in the professional women's basketball does affect the fact that there's also less recognition for even just high school basketball. And you can really tell in the sense that guys' games are so much more promoted and people use the excuse like, guys' games are more entertaining because they can dunk and like it's faster paced, but that doesn't necessarily mean that girls games aren't entertaining and you shouldn't be going to support them too, especially because we have won Western Mass in the past two years and we are most of the time winning our games. Even if, and even if the guys lost every game, people would still show up more, I feel like. You also see it on, even if they try and promote female basketball, like on Instagram, if you look, if ESPN or like Barstool Sports post anything of like a female playing basketball or a female doing any kind of sport, all the comments are like, that's a funny kitchen. Like, that looks like a funny kitchen. Like, go make me a sandwich. We also wanted to know these ladies' predictions on their upcoming season. I think we have high hopes for the season, but we're still taking it one game at a time because we can't, just because we won the past, won Western Mass the past two years, we can't just expect to win it again with no, putting in, like, putting in no work. So I think we definitely have high expectations and the season is going well so far, but mm -hmm. we can't be too cocky about anything. Boys basketball lost to Westfield on Monday, 64 to 47. Girls basketball won their game to Chicopee, 52 to 20. On Saturday, the boys hockey team also played Chicopee, but lost seven to three. On Wednesday, both boys and girls track won against Amherst and the wrestling team lost to Smith Folk on Saturday.